Hi everyone, it's Renee with Delaney Jane Cards. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you a card I made using this Penny Black stamp set called Cozy Cabin. Um, in my little town that I'm in, we have this group of ladies and we kind of play Ding Dong Ditch with alcohol. I know I've talked about it a couple times in previous videos where you drop kind of a gift basket um, off on, at somebody's house and I needed a card for mine and I thought I would share. Now I'm going to apologize a little bit for the camera quality. Um, I did recently move my craft room and I am still working on the all of the details as far as the camera and all of that. I think I have it figured out but I also didn't want to toss this footage um, because if you've been following me for a while, you know that I need to get back into the game of making videos. Anyway, I am using my Zig Clean Color Wheel Brush Markers here um, and a piece of watercolor paper by Open Studio. This is some really heavy, thick um, watercolor paper. It comes already in this size, which is four and a half by five and three quarters. So you would have to trim it a little bit for a card front but it's nice because you could tape it off. Uh, and all I did was color directly on the stamp with my Zig markers, and then I sprayed it with my distressed sprayer. I, I did get too much water on there. You, you can see the puddle. Don't, don't do that. A uh, lighter spray would have been just fine. In the end, I fix it and it's, it's fine, but uh, I needed more color because you can see my trees are not all that um, distinct, I guess. Uh, so I did color back on the stamp, and then I realized that this puddle of water was causing me issues. So I dried that up and then I left the trees alone so that they could dry a little more before I worked on them. Um, for the cabin, I'm just using a couple of shades of brown and I'm going to do exactly the same thing I did with the trees, even screwing up by putting too much water on them. <laughs> it's been a minute since I made anything kind of fantastic. So we're going to learn all these skills all over again. Uh, so I am coloring this brown on here and I did make sure I went around the edge of the tree line, um, the edge of the roof line. See, too much water, too much water again. Oh, I need to get that, that finesse, that super fine touch, you know, that, that crafter's touch. I need to get that back. Um, so we're going to figure that out together. So if you have any tips or tricks, remind me because I have probably forgotten them. So here I didn't put more color on before I got rid of the water though. I was like, well, it took too long to figure that out with the trees. So I'm already learning. You can see the learning curve. It's like, um, you know, they say riding a bike, you can definitely get back on the bike. And once you know, you don't forget. Um, but it does have a learning curve. It took me, you know, a few minutes to get this right. Um, so then I, I did the um, a little bit more brown on the cabin and then I went in with this natural gray and I used that for the smoke on the cabin. I will use it um, later for all of the the, the edges and uh, kind of defining the cabin a little bit more. Um, but I liked that it was a neutral color and it wasn't black. Um, water. This is a watercolor look and I didn't think that black was kind of appropriate, I guess, um, because it didn't have any distinct lines. It's got that, that watercolor look, so it's flowy. So I thought gray was as dark as I wanted to be. And it, when it was all said and done, I absolutely agree. I think that um, the dark gray was the perfect solution. Now for the hill, you could do it with another kind of a light gray and make it look like snow. But here in Wisconsin, it is kind of that in between winter and spring. It's sometimes snowy. There's snow in some places. We have grass in other places. It's, it's mostly mud. Um, but I wanted to bring a little life to this. So I did bring in this other green here and added it to the hill and then put some more in the trees now that they have dried a bit. And now I'm going to fill in the roof with vanilla. Um, I wanted, I didn't want it to be stark white and this watercolor paper isn't exactly stark white anyway. It is kind of a vanilla, really light vanilla um, color. So I just kind of blended that out and I will use that vanilla a little more to blend in some other places. I am using that dark gray here to kind of add some distinction to the cabin, to the windows, um, so that doesn't just look like a brown blob. I do think I succeeded in creating a watercolor look for my card, but you'll have to let me know what you think. Did I, did I live up to it? It's a gorgeous stamp set and I could see this being 
all sorts of things, including Christmas cards. So if you have a chance to grab this set, I, I would encourage you to do it. Um, I have so many ideas for it. This one came from Jamie's shop over at Not Too Shabby. If I find it in her store, I'll link it below um, just so that you, you can, you know, find it if you want. Um, here I took more of that vanilla and I kind of blended uh, the cabin just a little bit more. It, it had a lot of color and I wanted to make sure that I could get that distinction of what's the walls and what's the door and, um, and make it look more watercolor and less just stamped. So you'll have to let me know, you know, what you think? I'm always looking for opinions. Um, then I tried to blend out the grass a little bit with that vanilla and, um, it did okay. In the end, I will come back later and use a regular blender brush and blend it out. I did blend out the smoke so that it wasn't just, you know, stamped on the paper. And um, I just think that it added such neat detail. Now here, I went back to the trees. I love them. I think they're gorgeous, but I wanted them to have more variant in color. And I also wanted them to have some more intense color in certain places. It didn't have, it didn't change it a ton, but it added a little bit. Here is a die from Birch Press Designs. It's their Hello die. I think it is their, oh, what is it actually called? Their Sugar Script, their Big Hello Sugar Script die. It's uh, the, the regular words and then like the shadow. And I cut them out of two different kinds of cardstock. Um, one is kind of a dusty, um, earthy green, and the other one is green, like uh, glitter paper. And then I also cut a panel of that dusty colored green and black, and that's going to frame my my picture that I just made. I just layered up my sentiment. Oh, here, when I went to put this together, I realized there was a smudge. Just use my white um, eraser to get that off. Uh, Jen Bina told me a while ago that's that's her go-to first to try that before even a sand eraser for all sorts of things. And it was, it was fine. I didn't need to um, add a sand eraser to the mix. Uh, that white eraser took it off just fine. So here I just lay, layered up those pieces of cardstock that I was mentioning, the black and the, the like dusty earthy gray color. And I'm just going to layer this panel right on top. And this would be fine if you were just making note cards. It's gorgeous. You could stamp this directly on a um, watercolor card base, like if you made one and just put the little cabin on there, it would be really fantastic. Uh, but I chose to kind of frame that panel up and then add this little hello. It worked really good for um, my wine group person and she enjoyed it. And then when I delivered her items, she kind of lives in kind of this setting. So I was really um, happy that I went with this card for her. So here I was just making sure that that hello was down nice and secure. I used some Tombow Mono Multi Glue for that. No, I didn't. What did I use? Oh, Multi Medium Matte. And then here I went back and blended this out with that blender marker. See, it's been a while. I forgot what my stuff is even called. Uh, just blended this out a little bit more so that it was more on the watercolor side of things. So that is my card. I hope that you love it. I think it turned out absolutely stunning. And... Um, I, I really enjoyed playing and I appreciate the grace you're going to give me with the video quality right now, um, because I am working on it the best I can. So thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed my video. And as I always say, give cards generously. Bye.